Hi, it's Martha Seckler here from the Brown County Public Library, and I'm here to share a story with you. It's a folk tale that comes from Germany, and it's called The Magic Porridge Pot. Once upon a time, there lived, in a little house nestled between the forest and the village, a little girl and her mother. They were so very poor. So poor that one morning the little girl got up and looked all around the kitchen, all around the house, and couldn't find one single thing to eat. She sat there wondering what to do next, when her eyes lit on a little berry basket that was hanging on the wall. I know what I'll do. I'll take the basket into the woods and see if I can find some, maybe some nuts and berries that the squirrels have left behind. And so that's what she did. She went out and she searched and searched and searched, but no matter where she looked or how long she looked, she simply could not find one single thing to eat. She was so tired and hungry that when she came to a little clearing with a, with a, a log where she could sit down, she did and immediately began to cry. She was sobbing away, and suddenly she heard a voice. My dear, what troubles you so? The little girl looked up, and there she saw in front of her the oldest woman she had ever seen, all dressed in gray. Her face was so wrinkled, there were lines crisscrossing it from top to bottom. The little girl was a bit frightened and, and started to jump up to run away, and the old woman said, now, now, my little dear, it's all right. I'm not here to hurt you. I want to help. Tell me what's wrong. And so the little girl told her, we're so hungry, my mother and I, we're just so hungry. I'm sure you are, my dear, said the old woman, and I have what I think will help you. You do, said the little girl. What is it? And the old woman pulled out of her sleeve a little black pot and handed it to the little girl. But when the little girl looked inside, she saw it was empty. There's nothing in here, she said. Of course not, said the old woman. Not yet, but it's a magic pot. All you need to do is go home, hang it above the fire, say the magic words, boil, pot, boil, and you'll have plenty to eat. And when you've at your fill, you simply point at the pot again and say, stop, pot. Oh my goodness, said the little girl. That's, that's wonderful. Oh my goodness. And, and then she jumped up to, to say thank you to the old woman only to find that she had disappeared. So the little girl tucked the pot under her arm, ran as fast as she could all the way home. And when she got there, she found that her mother was sitting at the table crying as well. Mother, she said, you'll never believe what happened. And so she told her. And her mother said, well, let's try it out. So they took the pot and they hung it in the fireplace above the fire and said the magic words. Boil, pot, boil. And the pot immediately began to boil bubbly hot porridge. Oh, it smelled so good. They got out their spoons and bowls and they ate and they ate and then they ate some more until they were full to bursting. They hadn't eaten like that in so long. Then the little girl turned to the pot and she said, stop, pot, stop. And the little pot stopped. Well, this was great. Now all they had to do was put that little pot on whenever they were hungry, and they could have as much as they wanted whenever they wanted it. This went on for some time. Then one evening, the little girl said, you know, Mama, I, can, I want to visit my friend on the other side of the village. I think I'll go early tomorrow morning. Is that okay? That's fine, she said. Just eat a good breakfast before you leave. And so she did. The next morning, she got up early, she ate a breakfast, and she made her way to the other side of the village. Now, when her mother got up, she was hungry too. And she put the pot over the fire, and she pointed her finger at the pot, and she said, boil pot, boil. And the pot began to boil away, and she got out her bowl and spoon, and she ate and ate until she was full to bursting. And then, she looked at the pot, pointed her finger at the pot, and said, Oh my, I can't remember what to say. Um, um, enough, pot, enough, she said. But those weren't the magic words. And so the pot just kept bubbling away, and pretty soon the porridge was pouring out of the pot and onto the floor. And the mother was just 
upset. She couldn't think of the magic word. Um, enough, enough. Um, uh, halt, pot, halt, she said. But that wasn't the magic word either. And so the pot just kept bubbling away, and pretty soon that porridge was, was getting so high that it was almost reaching the window cells. And the mother walked around and walked around, and, and suddenly she said, I know, quit, pot, quit. But those weren't the magic words either. And now the porridge had bubbled out of the pot and onto the floor and through the windows and out the door. Oh, my goodness. She couldn't remember. She simply couldn't remember. So she just ran as fast as she could to the other side of the village and told her little girl what had happened. And when the little girl heard, she ran back as fast as she could. And it was kind of slow when she got to her own house because there was so much porridge in the, in the streets and, and she could hardly get in. But when she did, she pointed her finger at the pot and she said, you say it with me, stop pot, stop. And the pot stopped. But you know, there was so much porridge everywhere that they had to call out all their friends and neighbors and relatives to bring their pots and pans and, and bowls and spoons and ladles and oh my goodness, it took them three whole days before they ate up all that porridge. It was that much. I can tell you this though, they never ever forgot those magic words. And I'll bet you wouldn't either, would you? The end.